Oh my god. You've got to be kidding me, man. You've got to be kidding me. Is this real? Oh, this is real. All right, guys. So basically, we're going to get started here. Um, I started with Loot Box Nothing about a month ago. And the creator of Loot Box Nothing then created a map pack. It's not mega random, but there's 19 different versions of Loot Box. And the whole concept is you have to take out the pavilions... And the more you destroy, the more things can appear. And there's different chances associated with that. So I wasn't sure what we were going to get here. But this is a Pilgrims nothing version of loot box. Or just Pilgrims, I guess you could say, version of loot box. Players start on an island. There's zero fish. You start with the transport. And uh, blue the Citrode here is otherwise known as Caustrix. Otherwise known as something else in my chat. As the creator of everything, who's actually our host, and says, I have to make one thing clear, I wasn't expecting to play today. Yeah, they're trying to figure this out. They did not know what map gen they were going to get. So, it's, uh, they do start with resources, so they could actually make a TC. But it's regicide as well, and if the kings die, well, then that's a problem. So, we have seven players, because the AI was defeated, the AI, the orange player, and that's how this works. And, uh, this is going to be wild. So, also, blue... I'm terrible at this game. Just a heads up. I just make maps only. Oh, and Blue says, I was going to host, then explode my own king at the start. But since there's no exploding kings, wow. Okay, interesting. So Blue is maybe a little self-conscious about the gameplay, but has made the maps. Okie doke. Sorry, guys. I'm scared to dip low because I don't want it to freeze. Please don't gang up. Yeah, so let me explain that real quick. Um, there's been bugs today. So this is a, a day or two after a new patch. And every time there's a patch, it feels like something breaks. And, uh, well, that has definitely been the case here today. We've had a couple people go to the diplomacy screen to ally, and then they end up having their game frozen. So, uh, wow, everyone's stacked up together. Seems like we're going to have a lot of alerts that the AI is threatening kings because they're all next to it for now. And lots of alerts. Very, uh overwhelmed at the moment but i'm sure we'll settle into this one let's just see i'm gonna show you an example in case you forget how this works you had to watch my other loot box nothings let's just see also teal is saying my vills won't attack but teal you are allied teal allied the orange player and that would explain why okay so they take this out and is there anything? There's a tree. That's how this works, right? There's always something different. Occasionally, you get, like, a different uh, building, like an outpost. I think the outpost is, like, the next addition of a uh, pavilion to take out. And then there's different chances of what comes out of each and every thing here. So let's do the introductions. Over here in the green, we have Alex der Killer. Alex playing as the uh, as the Italians. In the purple, we have Valley Zone, who's playing as the Tutans. In the teal, we've got Lord Carl playing as the Huns. I think that's a great uh, pick for this because you're going to need houses later on, and that's going to be really annoying. In the red, we have Hindustani's new civilization for Msipo. In the yellow, we have the Chinese for Red Alchemy. Uh, in the blue... We've got Dravidians, another new Civ for the creator of the map. Shout out to you again, my friend, who's playing as, uh, or did I say Citroed or Dravidians? Anyways, we've got blue, Dravidian, Citroed here. And then the gray, we have Kleinerman22 playing as the Byzantines. To my live audience, can you guys tell me if the, if the whacking is too loud? It's not that loud for me, but I'm just curious what it is for you guys. Uh, for now, I'll just keep the eco stats there, and we'll just... Show the top three vill counts, and we'll just wait. Now, what's nice about this, and, and a lot of people probably didn't think about this at the start, but what's nice about this is that... Oh, it's a little loud? Okay, I can fix it. They can actually trade on this map, guys. They can actually trade. Is that combat volume? Election? We'll just lower it all a little bit. Uh, play? That's, that's a little better. That might even be too low. I can fix it. So, you know, you're not as restricted... If you think about that in the feudal age, you could trade on the water, which is really going to give you a lot of gold income. 
Um, the yellow says perp and gray ally, please. You know, players might be hesitant to look through those screens, but you can see purple has done that. If we ever see a player go completely AFK, and now I'm worried about purple, because purple's not moving. Oh, I see. Purple stopped moving because purple allied the AI again. I see. That uh, could be an issue. Now, apologies for all the alerts here. So basically, the way our program works is if someone threatens a king, it's supposed to give me a notification. Since they have to have the AI as enemy, I think this is going to happen a lot when kings move because they're next to the enemy buildings. But it shouldn't be too bad. So uh, what have we seen so far? Well, we've seen some trees to be chopped. We've seen some stone there. Uh, ooh, 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 check this out. This is, uh, this is the next level of loot box here. Different things can be produced out of that. You've got, uh, got the berries... And yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on all these boxes, see what people get. Explosions always give one resource as a group. I love how Blue's trying to explain this right now. So if you get wood, you'll get all wood from one saboteur. Ah, I kind of noticed that last time we did it, but I wasn't sure if that was consistent. If you get gold, you'll get all gold from one saboteur. What about, what about stone, Blue? What about stone? I get it with gold and wood. <laughs> Does it happen the same with stone and food? <laughs> Sorry, I'm being, <laughs> I'm being a jerk. I love how Blue, I love how Blue had to explain the, it, it twice, you know, in different ways. Just trying to make sure people understand it. And Blue's playing the game at the same time. Hmm. So, so I, I'm trying to think what the game plan is here. I mean, obviously to take out as many buildings as possible, right? So with all that said, I think... Getting to Feud Lage as quickly as possible and then rushing up to the next stage as well would be awesome. By the way, I'll be making Loot Box Nothing 3 sometime soon where Loot Boxes give technologies and they will stack too. Yo! That sounds absolutely horrible, which for community games means amazing. That's a good point, Shrub Mill. We could see people go for water and just kill kings. I mean, people are going to have to batter their way away from the shoreline. But yeah, you could make fishing ships and you can make fish traps if you get wood. There's a lot more variety just because you have this water here. Uh, so we'll see if players utilize it. But this is this is the last thing I was expecting, man. This looks so ridiculous. <laughs> well, apparently, contact Citroed. I think it's Caustrix on Steam and then... I forget. Um, shoot, I'm sorry. The, the user has like three different names. <laughs> so I forget what the Discord name is right now. Might be one of the same, but I'm really happy. Uh, it's funny. I was casting the first one, and this person seemed to know everything about it in my chat. And I was like, oh, wow, you must have played this. And he's like, yep, I made it. Ooh, okay, this is important. This is really important. Okay, so again, this is like level two of the loot boxes, okay? And then this is level three. So if I recall, uh, unpackable town centers, uh, saboteurs, uh, hero units, different things come out of this, this outpost here. And it could be really helpful here. Fortunately, there was nothing in that one, but yellow focusing on the sab. Here we go. Boom. I hope it's a saboteur because saboteurs are really satisfying and I think yellow deserves it. Oh, God, this is the worst. This is the worst. So it says, Capture Age says it's a packed trebuchet. This is actually a packed town center, which never helps you on these types of maps because you have no space to unpack your town center. So it's like, it's one of the worst things. Like, I guess in theory, you could unpack your town center here. I really like how red made houses here, by the way. Because it means more space. We haven't seen anything crazy yet. Oh, there we go! Here's the hero! This is what I meant, right? So this would have been out of the outpost, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Blue, you played this before. What's the plan here? And Blue's like, of course. I made this. Ooh, and Green's got the tower. Sick. Yeah, these towers always remind me of Blue's tower defense, but these towers will automatically attack, which is so nice because... These guys are doing a lot of clicking right now. So this is a, a fire tower. 
I think it's originally named a C tower and they added a fire effect to it. Capture Age isn't programmed to recognize these things, so it just says missing string. There is really no tactic besides being consistent with taking out your boxes. That is pretty much it. You know, there's no strat to it. There's no order. There's no cheat code. Yeah, I guess yellow could try. I, oh, this is blocked off right now, but maybe later yellow can try and find an open space. It would actually be really funny if they unpacked, if yellow unpacked the TC right here or right next to someone's town center and inconvenienced them. Okay, so guys, help me think of popular maps that might be as a part of this loot box thing. Because I was not expecting Pilgrims or Pilgrims nothing. So, what other maps would be in there? 19? Is there like islands? I recall there being some more with water because I saw a screenshot. And again, I like water because when you make it to Field Lage, like Yellow has, you can make trade cogs. And okay, we're seeing a fishing ship and a fish trap, so that's going to give you food income. Michi! <laughs> Michi! Black Forest? That'd be funny. Okay. Glad we lowered the sound. Let's put it that way. So far, it kind of feels like uh, players are making even amounts of progress. I really like what Gray's doing. Spread the villas out in the line. Seems to have quite a few attacking there. Here are fishing ships for Red. Red can't make fish traps yet, so I think Red probably regrets making those right now. Villagers are just walking around right now. By the way, there's kings, remember. There's kings, so this is a regicide game. It's just they have to worry about getting resources right now. I'll actually show you the stockpiles and see what resources they have. It's not too bad. But I think food's going to be the most important thing. Because then you want to make more vills with that. Hmm. <laughs> Valley says, how can you focus on writing? Well, I think Blue did establish at the start that maybe the focus wasn't going to be on playing as much. You have to... If you really want to try hard here, right? And you really want to be the best, you got to be clicking constantly. <laughs> Gray, uh... Seems to think that writing is the most fun part so far, so that's cool. I did sign up for this. I did say ahead of time what it was. And wow, man, another one in Feudal Age. I'm just curious what this turns into when, I don't know, 50% of this is cleared out. Because the last time we did it, the players weren't connected to each other. They were in their own little bubbles. And they were kind of stuck. Here, it feels like there's going to be a lot of open space that they can use for attacking each other or farms or trade. But I have to say, guys, when I started, uh, when I started it all many years ago, or when the Force Nothing video started to gain traction, I did not think that I would be sitting here later doing different nothing maps and doing something like this. Isn't this like part of the reason why? I mean, not loot box specifically, but I feel like the variety that Age of Empires 2 offers is what has contributed to it being so timeless. That you can do so much. You can enjoy this game as a noob. You can enjoy this game with scenarios. You can enjoy this game competitively. 1v1s. Team games. And then if you're talking like even semi-competitive, all the maps are very different. There's a lot of scripting possibilities. There's so much stuff. So much stuff. There are lots of civilizations and campaigns got value man it's got value and i feel like the gaming industry as a whole has kind of lost sight of that it's like let's make a game that's good enough to sell enough copies to make a profit let's not make a game that's going to be played 20 years from now you know it was a, it came from a different time it's what it was it came from a different time and they they hit the ball out of the park. I still wonder sometimes how much of it was pure luck and how much of it was intended. I think it was a heavy mix of both, right? But uh, still happy to be here, man. Happy to have people who, who also see the game for what it is alongside me because I told my friends for years this was an amazing game and no one really seems to give a crap. <laughs> Whoa, he's got two! He's got two of these bad boys. Yeah, Valley's doing the best job so far. Valley has 42 vills and also has the most wood and food in the bank. So impressive job from the Tootin player here. 
Um, I wish I had a stat here. Does it show raisings at all? Ooh, it does show value destroyed, guys. Let's actually keep that up. So that would, one would assume, include the little outposts here, the loot boxes. I just don't know how much value one in particular is. But we could guess. But value destroyed does help here. Unless they start attacking each other, and then it starts to be a little weird. Hmm. Yeah, so you've got... This is a flamethrower. Uh, these here... Uh, some type of hero. It's some type of czar. I think he's got... Does he have multiple? He's got three... Four of them. Wow, okay. This is a fire tower over here. Green has definitely started to slow down a little bit on this side, I've noticed. But is far away from everyone else, which goes a long way. I think the best types of things to get are the things you don't have to control. Even if you had space for the second town center, it wouldn't help you much because you'd have to control it and it would be awkward. But this is just a unit that attacks, as is the flamethrower. So Valley, I think, is going to pull way ahead. Because you just put it on an attack stance and send it on its way. You don't have to focus as much. The Valley's on the way to Feudal Age right now. So purple got lucky, but that does put a target on your back, and we'll see if anyone else gets lucky. And Teal says, what does the saboteur do? Where's the sab? Oh, there's the sab. It's red sab, actually. I would keep my king far away from that. I think since they're all allied right now, I think if red were to detonate the sab, it would not damage Teal. <laughs> Blue stole a fish trap. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you can steal fist traps from somebody. That's great. You know what else is great? Is how my uh, my watch continues to tell me it's time to stand. Sorry, bro. I'm in the middle of loot box nothing. Loot box nothing pilgrims edition. Now relics will come in handy. I like that. What I'm looking for are these. Every time I see one of these, I'm gonna I'm gonna pay attention and see what we get out of it. Because you're halfway to something good. And, oop, yep, tower's still doing work over here. The amount of wood that green has is really nice. Because I think green should be adding fishing ships, though. If you add the fishing ships, especially with Italians. I don't know why red is scouting the map with fishing ships instead of adding fish traps. I guess red is dark age right now. Hmm. Yellow making a blacksmith. There's a chance that means Fast Castle could be coming in. But anyways, guys, I'm going to take this moment. Um, well, hold on. I need to actually just tab out to my other screen so I can see something real quick. There we go. So I can say thanks, people. But, um, yeah, I mean, we're just we're just here to chill, right? Uh, that, for you guys, you probably worked a long week or whatever. It's now Friday. You want to see some ridiculous maps, but we're just here to chill. So, I don't know. If you want to say hi or ask questions about what I thought about the new expansion or whatever, feel free. This is the time. Obviously, there will be fighting at some point. Also, what are these hacks from Purple? How many is that? Purple's got six heroes and the flamethrower. Purple is using up his whole year's worth of luck in one community game here. It's kind of funny because they're a little trapped in here by the tree. Another one! What is he doing to get all this? But yeah, anywho, uh, as we have a siege workshop from Green, Green's going to be in Castle and can make rams now. Rams or mangonels could be the ticket to breaking in through more boxes. We'll see if Purple wants to add that as well. Completely rigged here. Completely rigged. What do you think is the best new sieve? I don't even think it's close. I, I don't even think it's close. Indians were strong before, and they, they buffed upon that with the Hindu Hindustanis. I keep wanting to call them the Hindustrians, which is so bad. <laughs> yeah, so I think Hindustanis uh, are like a top 5 1v1 Civ. At the very least, top 10, but I think they're a top 5 1v1 Civ on like most maps. And I think they're even better in team games now. And I, I think the devs went a little too far with it, but we'll see about the other Civs too. But like, I know it's an old Civ, but they made changes to it, and it was changed as part of the dynasties of India, so technically it's new. In some ways. Hmm. Okay. 
I think Dravidians are probably second on the list. Dravidians uh, are probably second on the list, and then the other two civs are a little underwhelming. But I like the Bengalis a lot because their unique unit's cool. I'm a big fan of the Bengali unique unit. T90, do you think the pro meta will change due to the new DLC? Um, I don't think a DLC with, with three or four civs, depending on how you look at it, is going to affect the pro meta, no. Um, if anything, I think they introduced... Like, I think with Dravidians... I think they introduce civilizations that are already... Oh, God, this is so hectic here. Oh, jeez. Oh, man, the town centers and everything. This sucks. Um, I think adding Dravidians just makes the meta even more solidified, right? You give a Civ 50% off Barrack Technologies and plus 200 wood starting in Feudal, and the meta is already man in our Marcher. What do you think is going to happen? They get a free Archer range, essentially, and they get cheaper man at arms so i think that is going to be the play for the most part Ooh, purple's going for some navy here the only player to really be making military that makes me think we could see a king snipe don't do it okay but teal at the same time buddy that was not the safest spot for your king lord carl no and blue's like how green's like what and Carl's probably thinking the same. And Valley, I mean, really going at it here early. And the players are all allied together. They could look over there and they could see that Navy. Now, what they might not know, Purple's going to try and hide it too. Look, look, he's hiding it. He's hiding the Navy. He's like, I don't want them to look for what happened. And yup, he says weird. He's like, hmm, that's weird. How did that happen? He must have disconnected. A sneaky, sneaky Lord Carl out of the game. Didn't see any chat from him after being defeated. You could always do that, but uh, he's probably kicking himself. It is a community game after all, and like I say, we like to bring the community together and break it right apart during community games because that's what it's all about. I just wasn't expecting there to be a king kill that early, and that would not have happened in the previous versions of loot box because they would be in their own little bubble. T90, the chat bug is happening in ranked. Don't type in ranked. I couldn't move. Really? Okay. Well, then I will have to pass that information along to the devs. I already did say something, but that's interesting feedback. Yes. Okay, so now we have Diplo. And Red's like, hey, Yellow, we're friends, right? And Yellow says yes. Red's probably worried because of the castle, but I'm not sure this castle is even a good idea for Yellow. Yellow has so many idle villagers. Yellow's got like 50 vills and none of them are working. Yikes, man. <laughs> he says, I'm worried about a teal snipe. Well, teal's already dead. So that's going to be a little bit of a problem if teal were to try that. Okay. Oh, he meant purple snipe. Yeah, purple purple could be a big problem here for sure. What do you think of Woot Steel? I don't like any upgrades that ignore armor or strip armor. I'm not a big fan of that. They've done that recently with new civilizations. I, I just don't like it that much. Um, I think the biggest issue is with the unique unit itself. I think if they address the unique unit, then it's probably not that big a deal. I don't know. It's just not my thing. The new civs in general are not civs besides the Hindustanis. They're not civilizations that after the newness wears off are really going to be... I don't think anyways there's going to be a lot of people out there that are like, these are my favorite civs. I think they're going to be kind of solid mid-tier civs. Um, but the Hindustanis, man, are just, whew. If you want a successful civilization, they have very few counters. But there's obviously going to be a lot of things we have to figure out over time, right? All right, so Gray using man-at-arms and a flamethrower, making progress. I like the farms along the shoreline here. Um... Yeah, the unique unit for the Dravidians, like, I've used examples like this before, guys, but I feel like for devs, at some point it starts with a list of bonus ideas, right? So they get, like, ten bonus ideas. Like, this is what we want to use. And then it comes time for, okay, we, we want, we need sieves. They've got the sieves. And then it's, where do we fit these bonuses? And so... 
I think what happens is sometimes the bonuses don't fit together properly. And so then you get the Dravidian unique unit at launch, which is just feels out of place with the Wood Steel. Like it feels like it's too much. Another example I'll give you is, is Sicilians, which I've talked about a lot. They have the really unique um they they have the really unique uh dungeons. And they have the, shoot, I can't remember, the sergeant, which can build dungeons, which is a unique concept. So that was one thing on their list. And then they have the resistance to bonus damage, which is also, you know, another thing on the list. And then all of a sudden they get a bonus, which gives them a lot of cavalier. Like, or not a lot of cavalier, like really tanky cavalier. It just doesn't match, you know? It just doesn't match. So I think that happens sometimes. Um, but in general, the newer expansion doesn't feel as rushed. And it, it feels like the things match a lot more. Whereas the Sicilian Burgundians, it, it kind of felt like in some ways they were like pulled they needed to release an expansion and they're like, oh, we have three weeks. Psh. Obviously, it didn't take three weeks, but in terms of the ideas, it felt like that. I still want to see the video where you fix all the sieves. <laughs> uh, nah. I, I think like I talk a lot about tweaks I'd like to make. But overall, our balance is really strong compared to, to what it used to be. So we're in a good spot with balance. And I think it would be a mistake if, like, if my opinions were to all make it into balance, that might not be a good thing, you know? I, I don't think I should agree with everything. Okay, so green was making rams. So green's got rams. We also have mangonels over here as well. It looks like green has also damaged his own siege workshop. Civ so balance is above T90's pay grade. Okay, okay, that's not true, okay? That's not true, all right? I gave, for a lot of the tweaks that came out, a lot of that feedback came from people in the community, and I was involved in those conversations. You can settle down there. You are correct, I don't get paid for that. It's it's all volunteer, but that's, that's how it should be. If uh, they're going to take some input, that's good. So Green says, I want to go to the top corner. Yeah, so this is like the jackpot, right? This is the jackpot. Because this is... It's very rare to encounter outpost as is. You eventually want to be able to get here. And if you're able to take that out, who knows what's going to be behind it. Never would have thought first Kami game got sniped in feudal. Oh, sorry, Carl. <laughs> but Carl, like... Lesson learned, right? Lesson learned. And you know, this begins the story of Carl. Because what will happen is... He's going to get in again at some point, And he's going to be... Pay extra close attention to that king. That king is going to be in like... Protected by 16 walls and 70,000 castles. Because you've had that experience of losing a king in a community game. Was the attack move exploit fix something that happened due to community feedback? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think that's any secret, right? Um, I think... I, I'm not a, sure if they really knew what the issue was. Like, I'm not sure on what... We'll have to test it more. It's only been a couple days. So I'm not sure I feel they've addressed it correctly or in the way I would have wanted it to be addressed. But yes. Hmm. I'm playing a random cost mod game, and my input stopped working. Yeah, maybe maybe uh, the mod's broken. I think playing with a lot of mods and modes. Knock on wood here, because we're playing with something different right now. Right after a patch, there's always a chance that there could be an issue there. Also, is that really a trebuchet in there, or is that red's TC? Now, there's no way it's a trebuchet. Red is in castleage. I think capture is just confused. And I believe Red is trying to find a spot for a town center right now. <laughs> taking their time. Taking their time. Uh, good questions, by the way. Good questions. Somebody asked me about events. Every time I open up for question, people were like, when are there going to be events? Events, 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 events. I've got some stuff in the works. When you guys know, you'll know. But I'm not going to... Um... It's really hard... If you're going to have things done properly, it's really hard right now to get things confirmed when it comes to, like, sponsorships. It's very hard to get timeline confirmed. And so I'm not going to even, like, I'm not going to give any details. 
because there there will be instances and there have been instances where people will say x y or z is happening and it might not even happen and i don't want to do that so i prefer to stay silent on things work hard to make things happen and then when it's happening you know about it you know what i mean <laughs> Okay, this is actually... I, I'm impressed with Valley here. I mean, Valley, I think, was also very lucky. Because has hit the jackpot every step of the way here with all these heroes. But Valley is going to go for the kill here. He's going for Petards and Teutonic Knights. Normally, I wouldn't say that's good at sniping kings. But here, when you've also got a navy to patrol the seas, I could see that being strong. Red still can't unpack the town center, by the way. <laughs> Hmm. And it could help others in some ways just to open up more space. But purple, with the value destroyed, as, uh, do we have the stat one in the top three? It doesn't show that stat in the top three. Value destroyed is at 60, no, 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 no. 134,000, which is more than double what second place green has. Purple has really benefited from getting these heroes. And again, that's what you want here also is trading, which is a really good decision. Yo! We've got the Imperial Age ship from the Dravidians! Blue says, what are your elos? I think mine is like 300. This is the map maker who's gone fast imp here with Dravidians and is making the Theresa Day. That's what I was told to say the other day. Theresa Day. I had to say, Gray, uh... I want to build that castle with a few more villagers just in case someone gets the right idea. Green tries to say 1,000 elo. Red says 800 elo. Gray said something that apparently wasn't allowed. His elo is so good that uh, children can't witness it. It's that dirty. Oh my god, the style points. Oh my word. Okay, you need eight petards to take out a castle, though. You need five for a TC. Also, I agree, Nighthawk. I think if you want to kill people, you just have to go for Navy here, and this could be a very quick game. But does Blue see that? Blue says, who wants to convert my ships? They are beautiful. I will admit, they are beautiful. <laughs> I think he's genuinely offering up his ships to be converted here. <laughs> I thought he saw purple for a second. Mm, no Imperial Age yet. Oh, no, Valley just hit Imp. Okay, so Valley's probably researching. What I would do if I were Valley is I would research the dock deck. I think dry dock, which gives you more uh, space inside your transport ships. But I'm not sure if Tootins even get that, to be honest. So that's what I'm assuming is happening right now, but I don't see it. Yeah, I talked about this ship yesterday. It's a bit weird to only be allowed an Imp. No way. No way he's just going to pass by here. You're going to kill the guy who made the map. He's punishing Blue for giving him the odds that are this good. He's like, hey, thanks for the map. Appreciate it. Can I have your king? Here he goes. The king is caught up in the villagers. I'm not sure Blue has noticed this. Blue did just say that the 300 elo, and that is going to be the end of our 300 elo map maker. Thank you, Blue, for making the map. And Valley gets kill number two. It's very interesting how ruthless people are in loot box because I remember Red. A Red was very ruthless the last time we did this, and I forget what he said. He said he wanted the Khmer Empire to expand. Blue says, I didn't see that at all. And, okay, Green has just called that out and said purple. And then purple does the whole huh thing with the question mark. This is two all but purple. We got to team up. Okay, so... Yellow is talking to the people that are alive now. And he's saying, hey, listen, look at Purple's score. Purple's too strong. He's killing people left and right. We've got to team up on him. And Gray says the same. Gray says that to Yellow. And yo, guys! Let's go, baby! We've got the armored elephants from the Hindustanis! Really curious how these things work on loot box. But Red, this is not Red just trying to explore some different... Uh, Explore some different areas to get resources. No, this is Red trying to run. <laughs> Red is trying to run. And so drops a castle here, but purple obviously could treb everything down. They might.
might try and team up against purple, but would they be able to do anything there? I didn't think about using the navy against the outpost. I guess that's actually not a bad idea. Uh, I don't need to see the market events. Thank you, game. And purple says we good, and purple is saying that to red. And I think the silence is going to be a pretty bad thing for red here. I think red needs to try and say something to stay alive. Well, okay, I would agree that purple lucked out like crazy, and the earlier you luck out, the better. But I would disagree that purple hasn't played this well. Purple started to trade with that position. Purple went for a petard snipe. Purple went for the galley snipe. Like, I think purple has made the most of the good fortune that happened earlier. Like, what I'm saying is I think a lot of players would have, would have lucked out like purple did a little bit at the start and maybe not played as well. Ooh, this is a this is something you can get out of the towers. This is a bombard tower. That's something you get out of the uh, the outpost. Excuse me. Gray's got Imperial Age Byzantine Navy. Unfortunate blue can't use the navy there. And okay, green has set purple to neutral. Maybe this is a sign. Yeah, Vincent. Basically, purple got a few of these things at the start. But purple has always kept a consistent vill count that's been quite high as well. So I think I think it's a mix. I think it'd be unfair to say to Valley that Valley just lucked out. But guys, if you're gonna be a bully, I think you, you have to follow through because take it from me. You guys know me in community games. I'm always scared of you, right? And so I start to kill a couple people. And then everyone in my chat, they're like, You're such a bully. And then I feel bad. And my conscience gets the best of me, and so I stop attacking, right? And I try and be friends. And then what do they do? They kill me anyways! So, you know, it's a different situation if the streamer's doing it, because I think streamers always want to be killed, because you guys think that's funny for some reason. But, seriously, I think right now, Purple's saying, Red, are we good? No, 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 no. You're not good with Red. Red is threatened by you, and you might as well just kill him. You might as well just kill him if the opportunity's there, because if you let them live, it could be a problem. Now, I think this is correct from Red to say, yeah. And he says, sorry. Like, it's good from Red to talk to him. Because this makes Purple believe that they are good. But Purple right now could get an easy kill. I think you already have a target on your back. They kill you as payback for killing the others, T90. See, you say that, Alex. But I have been killed one too many times while trying to be faithful. <laughs> I have been... I've had... I face brutal backstabs over the years. <laughs> and then people clip it, and then they rewatch it. And then everyone laughs, spams the 11s, because then they're like, oh, I would so do the same thing. And I don't blame you guys at all. I don't, I don't blame you guys in the slightest. Can you convert the units of defeated players? Yeah, you could. Um, we might end up seeing that. I think the relics is something people need to pick up. Looks like purple's trying to steal some here. Notice green. Is allowing trade in, but is not really trading out much. Which I think is a mistake here. Let's look at the stockpiles. The resources have to be getting up there. Look at those resources. Now, there's 23 gold workers for purple. There's 31 for gray. So, they're actually they're trading. So, with gold they received, they invested into, which is a smart move. Yeah, hello. Um, I, I actually forgot. Forgive me. I was trying to explain what your name was here on the stream, and I forgot. Hello, for those that are wondering and watching later, is was blue here. <laughs> I hope someone dies soon so that I can have a death chat, buddy. Well, Carl already died. <laughs> what is Carl? Chopped liver? Hmm. Say, um, so we find what about green? Red says at least he doesn't have any, hasn't done anything suspicious yet. Not really. Green hasn't done anything, and teal is still salty over the snipe, apparently. Yeah, it did it surprise you? Did it scare you, Carl? So, I bet you a lot of people watching have never had their king sniped when they weren't expecting it because it's. You know, it's something you'd have to face if you played community games, and a lot of people would only do it here on this stream. So, um, 
the thing is, is like, it scares you because you hear the defeated noise. And the defeated noise isn't a gentle defeated noise. I don't know how to make it. It kind of, it's like, <laughs> no, I just sounded like a siren. It doesn't sound like that. I don't know how to make the noise, but it's this weird, like, whistling downward spiral, spiral noise. And it also, the pop-up of, you've been defeated, shows up right in your screen. So you're like looking around, looking around, and then you hear the weird siren noise or whatever I just did. You guys know what I'm talking about. I just don't know how to make the noise anyways. It's, it makes me jump. It makes me jump if I'm not expecting it. That's the whole point. And Teal says, I hope someone does something legendary so I can get into YouTube. My idea was to do that legendary thing myself. <laughs> but now someone else has got to do it. Man, if that isn't a community game thing, I don't know what is. I'm sure everyone who comes in wants to do something legendary. Hmm. Okay, so purple and green are getting close to one another. Purple could make trebs right now and take out green. That's a real possibility. That'd be a perfect spot, right? You just hit the trebs here. There's not much green can really do. You don't know that sound because you never lost a game? Yeah, I forgot how many amazing players I have that watch my content. They've made a lot of progress here. In fact, zooming out and looking at this is incredible. This is something to appreciate. This is so cool. I think they've maybe taken out a third, and as they continue to boom, it's only going to get better from here. The siege elephants looked good until they got caught inside of the trees. Um, they're just stuck inside of one another, inside of the bushes, inside of the gold. Hmm. The red is saying green seems fishy. And that, that bug can happen to the rams as well, by the way. That is not unique to the uh, siege elephants. I think siege ram is definitely much better against multiple, uh, multiple outposts or multiple loot boxes, as we're calling it. Definitely seems like the splash damage is greater. I'm still, like, I like the idea of the siege elephant. I'm a little, um... I'm a little disappointed with some aspects of it. Um, we'll, we'll see how it ends up playing out over the course of a couple weeks. It just doesn't feel like it fits exactly where it needs to. And based on cost or how much damage it actually does. But it is unique. I really like the concept. I want the concept to work, you know? Do you manage to read every message? Because, yeah, sometimes. But usually, no. <laughs> I have to tab up at times to see these messages and... Depends on how many viewers, how many people are talking for stream messages. Oh, excuse me. I'm getting tired, man. I don't get why hitting, getting hit with a siege elephant only does three damage. Yeah, that's, that's part of what's weird. That's part of what's weird because you already have elephant units that have tons of damage output. But a siege elephant, which has tusks that look just the same, do no damage. I think purple is going to regret not killing people, but at the same time, I think purple is just, just hoarding resources and is waiting. We got galleons now, which could dominate the seas. Being told the defeated noise is actually an elephant? No way. No way. I'm going to call BS on that one. Ooh, guys, red got a bunch of sabs. So I think it was a sab into a sab, because if you remember the explanation earlier, an explosion... Gives you the same type of, of result. So an explosion would give all wood or all food or all gold. I don't know if you can sab into a sab like I'm saying, though. I don't know. Red use. What are they talking about when they say red use? Red is really close to all this. I think we're about to see a big move here, folks. I think we're about to see a big move. Purple has a massive navy. Purple's got a big lead, but Red is now behind him. But also, well, behind him in the score, he's also right next to him on land with very little military, just with the siege. Maybe has too much trust. Toons is not a bad pick here, right? Free murder holes, great castles for defense, and Purple's going to make a move on green now. <laughs> What's up, Ben? 
What's the name of the mod you use for circles around the buildings? It's actually a game setting. And I started using that recently. Um, I think there are also separate mods for it, but there's also a game setting. You could always check that out. It's, it's in the graphics or somewhere like that. Okay, well, green's got big problems. The biggest problem for green is that there's no Bodkinero on these ships. So green is missing crucial upgrades to Galleons, which is an Imperial Age ship. Whereas over here, I mean, Teutons don't even get Bracer, which is something Italians get. But it uh, doesn't matter when you're 8 plus 3 against 8 plus 1. And this is going to be the end for green, possibly, if green doesn't get out of here. Now, green can be hit on the other side by Trebs, but purple's not choosing to do that. Hmm. Again, I'm... I'm surprised that purple hasn't been more brutal here. Like, I really think that purple needs to start making moves on people besides green. Kill green as quickly as possible. And then once green is taken care of, move directly over to red. Because if I were these players on the left, I would be prepping something. Red says, me and perp against green. But he's saying that to gray. Gray said, how can I see how's at war with who? Oh, he's like, how can I, how can I tell what's happening here? Well, you can look. There's no, it doesn't tell you in game who's enemy with who. You kind of have to figure that out. It's part of what makes diplomacy games difficult. Um, bu -bu 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 Glenn, I'm not sure what issue you're having with subbing. I have had some people say that over the last few weeks. Um, most of the people who say that just try it again the next day or they switch to like mobile or something. Um, but I'm not sure exactly what the issue is, but some people have, have mentioned it and then normally it's resolved soon. I uh, even had someone like submit a ticket for it and they said it was resolved and they got it sorted. So I'm not I'm not sure. Maybe some of those people give recommendations. Yeah, Moritz actually Moritz actually was one of them, so Yeah, Russell, I see it, man. Sorry if I didn't give you the shout out already. I see it. And I just got like it's probably just the type of game here, but I, I just got hit hard. I mean I do have caffeine, but I was trying to hold back because it's getting into the evening, but the exhaustion is setting in for me right now. Okay, yellow says red. He is mostly on sea. I think we can kill him on land if we coordinate. I like this. I like this. This is good. Now, I'm not sure they can. Wait, look at red sabs. What? Look at how many sabs red has. This is not a petard. This is a saboteur, okay? This is like a petard times five. It's good against units, and it's also good against buildings. Now, green is trying to escape. Green is on the move. And while I think civ-wise, green could have done something with Genoese crossbow and navy, I think you're just outgunned here. We call it, right? You're up against purple. Red chose the right side. Red realizes how strong green is. Green is going to have to use these onagers to try and cut the other way right now and get out of here. There's a chance that green could survive in his little bubble here and, and continue to get the other direction. I'm not sure red heard yellow's cries or, or, or calls or plans. I'm not sure they really agree with each other there, but yellow is clearing out a lot of space right now. And you want to see orange's point of view? Sure, this is the AI. This is the AI's point of view at the moment. Which is kind of interesting. Okay, so King was threatened here. But it was threatened by Orange. So, false alarm for me. But yeah, Green's still alive. Green just has to try and cut to the north. I almost wish there was something up there. I wish there was a prize. I wish it was like Pilgrim's Nothing where there was a relic there. And it was the only relic. But actually, that doesn't make sense. Because there are relics that appear. So... Green says you have to get purple and says that to everyone but red and purple. And yellow says, don't worry, I have a plan. Also, you have quite a few trade cogs. Just saying. He says Teutons can't do a lot versus Chukonu. In general, I agree with that statement. I think if Teutons make siege, you're going to have some issues. But if you have God tier micro, you can even take care of that. What map is this? Uh, this map is Arabia. Uh, we did a 4v4 Arabia. 
We don't get a lot of that, you know, with uh, ladder games and whatnot, so... Just some classic Arabia. Yes, if you can go to C, that'd be good. Okay, so Gray is going to be on C. Gray is going to be controlling water. And then we're going to have yellow on land. And meanwhile, the longer green survives, I know... Yo, green got bailed out! Green got bombard towers out of nowhere! Green can survive this! Green has villagers. Green has a king. And green has bombard towers to stay safe for now. Why does gray not help us, question mark? Just be careful, red. Okay. I, guys, I think red is going to go for purple. I, I think purple killed one too many people before accepting this alliance with red. This looks way too sketch for me, man. This looks way too sketch. By the way, in the future, I'm always going to have the name of the map um, somewhere on the screen. And I'm going to do my best with that. Please let me live in the corner. I won't do anything, says green. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Green! You just almost killed your own king! Valley says, well, you could pay us the cost of war. And Green's like, sure, anything, as long as I have my life. But gosh, man, just seconds after Green said that, there was almost suicide over here. What a mistake that would have been. But I don't think Green should pay anything. I, I think Green should... Probably, at least if you're going to pay something. I don't know what your stockpiles look like. Yeah, just pay like a little bit of food and that's it. Wow, guys. This is, they have really made some progress here. And yellow, making a lot of defensive towers right now. Everyone is turning against you. Purple says red. So red snitching. So red is actually with purple more than I thought then. Purple says why, lol. The red says, I was going to join them, but you are my friend. Yo! Okay! I, you know what, red? Oh, kill him now. Kill him right after saying that, please. <laughs> I'm evil, but come on. <laughs> that would be too good. Valise is glad to hear that. Okay. Oh, man. That was the stuff of dreams right there. You are my friend. And then sends the, the saboteurs in and kills the king immediately after that. Red says, I don't have anything, but until the bitter end. Well, it kind of makes sense for Red, too, because they've got a lot of space they're sharing here. And Purple has been really nice to Red. And purple wasn't nice to Teal. Lord Carl's probably out there like, screw you! And, you know, wasn't nice to Blue. Anyways, Red says, green ally me, please. And green already did that. I think green is going to be safe, and green can live to fight again another day. This is giving time for the other two on this side. Keep in mind, it's only two. Blue's been out for a while to fortify and build up. But again, I can't help reminding you guys that we have a lot of that gold income on water. And the second they turn, a lot of the trade's going to go down. Race is now. Yellow is almost ready. Yeah, that This is a lot of military. The military top three is on the left side right now. Purple's got 114, but keep in mind that maybe 40 of that's on water. Purple has Teutonic Knights, which excites me. Now, red could kill somebody with just the, sa just the saboteurs, though. I think it only takes a few saps to garrison or ungarrison that king. Red says, okay, I try. Is red going to double back and kill yellow here? Remember, yellow thinks that red is with him. Yes. Okay, yellow says ready. And this is including red in the conversation. You then have Gray, who's including Red in the conversation, saying yes. Yellow is now saying Red, move to front. This is where, if Red's heart isn't already beating a mile a minute, it has begun. Dodon, 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 dodon. The pressure of a backstab. The opportunity to tell your mom that you're famous on YouTube. This is everything Red's life is built up for right here. What's the plan? And I don't even know what direction Red's going to go. I still don't know. Is red gonna is red gonna go after purple after all? The king is in the castle. That's a bad castle to be in if you're gonna turn on purple though. Hi, Gray. We good, says purple. Why does it look like red is gonna snipe himself? <laughs> I mean he might think purple's king is in this castle, but it looks like red is gonna snipe himself. Um 
Bray says everything's fine. Yellow's asking Red if he's ready. Purple might sense this and is adding gates. Yellow's asking Gray to move the Navy into position. And Red is snitching. Red is snitching. He says, they're about to attack. I will try and snipe Yellow. Gray is going as well. Honestly, Red is a great ally to Purple. Like, if I was playing in a Diplo game, I would want someone that fed me information like this. And I don't think Yellow's truthfully expecting this. I want to see two things, though. I want to see a Sab right in the middle of the two canoe, because that would be amazing. And I want to see what these Teutonic Knights can do, because there's a lot of them in these castles. Okay, Yellow says, screw it, let's go. And here come the saboteurs going in after Yellow. And Yellow noticed and turned, but is now dead. <laughs> saboteurs are insane, man. Oh, geez, did Yellow even have time to turn on purple there? I can't even tell. I, as I mentioned before, saboteurs are insanely strong. Hey, Red did a good job to hold on to them. And so now Yellow's out of the game. These saboteurs have been wasted on a player who's already dead. I don't agree with that. Yellow says, so T90, I hope you enjoy. I, I enjoyed... This was a big buildup. And did I enjoy your death? Oh, so it was so satisfying. But it's still interesting, though, because you've got... You've got purple and red working together, but I think there's plenty of opportunity now for red to go after purple. Probably not so much, though, because the siege elephants are really vulnerable against melee attack, and I think the Teutonic Knights will dominate. You were the best. I almost got gray. And now, of course. Wait. Oh my god. Okay, Red's King is inside of this town center right now, guys. It must have ejected into that or something, but... Risky times. What's gray making right now? I mean, he's got navy. Which he hasn't really moved forward at all. He is Byzantine, so he could make cataphracts. We're not even seeing that. Actually, cataphracts would be sick here. Red says, I kind of feel bad now. Sorry, yellow. Well, you did have to pick a side. I think for a while there, it made a lot more sense to uh, to turn on purple because of purple score. But red, you're not too bad yourself. So red kind of placing a bet in himself to maybe kill purple. I think it would be easier to kill the, Chuka to kill the Chinese player than it would be to kill the Teuton player. So Red has made work for himself with this. And Purple says it's just play. It's just a game. Let's have fun. And meanwhile, Green's like, please don't kill me. Hope you don't remember this. Yeah, you noticed Red, but unfortunately, Sabs are just so strong that you didn't have a chance the second you noticed Red. <laughs> like, he had so many saboteurs that... Whoever he decided to kill in that situation, he probably would have killed. I think had he actually gone against purple, he would have killed purple as well. So at least with purple, he had more open spaces to move his king around. For you, it kind of worked against you that everything was closed off like that. Hmm. Red's still got some sabs around too. He is allied with gray right now, so gray's got to be a little careful about that. Still a little uncertain on what Gray's plan is, but Gray's coming in on the water now. I'm no longer uncertain. I hope the game sounds not too low for you guys, but there we lowered it earlier. I could probably I could probably make some changes to that if you feel like it's too low at this stage, but we, we've kept it low all game because at the start the villagers smacking the the outposts were really loud. Um Gray could slowly take out castles from the shoreline, farms from the shoreline, monasteries from the shoreline. And Purple realizes this. And Purple is trying to come back. But Purple doesn't have the docks yet. Yellow had a lot of relics. Red's going to take those relics. And then Purple's got a lot of relics in there too. So there are lots of relics that are just appearing on the map because of the boxes. And we're maybe two-thirds, maybe even more than that, away from get, taking care of every single little loot box here. Audio level's great. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, so the stabs come from this. So you have to go through the loot box into the outpost, and then the stabs come from that, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know what Green's doing. I just kind of let him live, says Red. 
And I feel like Red should have let him live at that time so they could focus on the others, but... Does definitely feel like there's going to be a time. And Red is talking to Gray. So I think there's a chance that Red and Gray are going to work together against Purple. And Purple... Kind of already up against the ropes here. Uh, against Gray's Navy. And Gray's got a lot of Navy. Yeah, so Vincent, I, I don't have the percentages memorized. But there's a different chance for each resource out of each box. And then within this box there's a chance you get the next box and then there's different percentages associated with that so i explained it a bit more in the earlier videos um the percentages as far as i've been told have not changed with this one but what benefited purple for example is he got a lot of chariots at the start which i think he's lost now but he had quite a few chariots whoa what happened there how did he lose so many rams there hmm I mean, green is making progress towards this corner. <laughs> green, there's 98 of them up there. Green's making progress. Help green on water. No, he hasn't in the last 15 minutes. He did the last 15 minutes ago. Okay, so, so purple is asking green to help, I think. And purple is desperate now. It's such a good start is desperate because of gray's uh, position on land. Looks like Ray got a couple towers over here at the moment. Yeah, Red, Red's, Red's position probably would have been fairly weak, uh, fairly weak against Mass Chukunu, because all he's making is these elephants, and Chukunu tends to do pretty good against Siege. I haven't actually seen Elite Chukunu <laughs> against Siege elephants yet, though, so it's kind of tricky for me to say. Yeah, it's saboteurs, it's one of those things you just got to experience, and then you know, dude. You know they're strong. Like I said, just a couple saboteurs, maybe not in a Byzantine castle, but a couple saboteurs to take out a castle, and that's it. Now, what would be, what would have been epic is if he sabbed your Chukunu. Like, it, one sab in the middle of 40 Chukunu would kill all the Chukunu. Green says, I'm going to make ships. Or No think he's talking to purple no 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 purple's going back on water i'm not sure but green you shouldn't focus on that right now you should focus on getting your pop back up and getting some space we are two hours game time into this obviously doing fast speed though so we worked through it a little bit faster i'm really glad we did fast speed and purple is backed up off the shoreline good recovery from purple on water uh it does hurt with tootins to not get bracer so your navy is a bit weaker but gray's not exactly coordinating his uh ships here and gray has the navy to be able to compete against purple but is not taking the best of engagements here purple if, if i were purple i would be annoyed that red isn't attacking gray because gray's attacking me it was satisfying deleted those lumber camps there Yeah, it felt to me like Purple asked Green to come on water, and then Green tried, and then Purple attacked him back, probably due to the, being overwhelmed right now. Yeah, so Purple is fighting against Gray, and Gray is fighting against Purple, and Red is just kind of hanging out. And Gray is giving Red updates on what's happening, and Purple is giving Red updates on what's happening. And Red just loving life. <laughs> Red is just loving life. Look. He just gave an okay to Gray a few minutes ago, and now he's giving a sweet to Purple. And then he doesn't have to worry about Green, because Green is kind of dead. And and Green will also, I think, like Red, because Red was part of the reason why he survived in the first place. So, I think Red is just living the dream right now, and if you look at the stockpiles, the gold count's not there. But you've got to think that there's opportunity for Red still to, to get some damage done. I just, I worry for Red's one-sidedness with his military. It's just Rams. And I think Red is, is kind of enjoying the good times while the good times are here. The purple says, I kind of want you to win, to be honest, to Red. And Red's like, really? And meanwhile, Red's not helping at all. So that might make Red feel bad about playing both sides. I will say, though, if Gray ever has the resources for Cataphracts, I mean, there's Bombard Towers everywhere that have been built. 
and plus the ones that spawn from the outposts. If Gray were to have the resources for full cataphrag, Gray's the favorite. Because Tootins really struggle against that. And then I'm not really sure about the Hind I guess the Hindustanis could make um and cannons or something? I don't know. Look at Gray. He's like red. So now he's like, why aren't you attacking purple? Eventually, one of these guys are going to call the other one out. And okay, so red's now kind of using green as an excuse. He says he's just going to kill green. <laughs> I forgot Valley said that. Was it, wasn't Valley in that game about writing songs? Well, you are not turned on gray says purple oh called out called out i think red is gonna immediately act on green and just act like he didn't hear that he's gonna be like what i was too focused killing a guy i'm really active right now man i'll help you later and so he's been called out and so he says turning on him now but i don't actually think that's gonna happen because he doesn't have oh wait wait purple turns on red and red turns on purple, so he wasn't going to go to green in the first place. Wow. Okay, I've never seen a quick wall with a castle before. But I guess that kind of works. And this brings me back to my issue with red earlier. As red receives some resources from green. Teutonic Knights should shred this siege. And you don't have any support unit. So, even though this is 8,000 HP... I believe the Teutonic Knights, keep in mind the Elephants, it looks like they should do damage against units. They don't. Right? They do no... It's like a ram. They do no damage against units, and these Teutonic Knights should be able to take out these Elephants. No problem. Yeah, Luke, you're welcome, man. Just trying my best. And now Red's passing information along to Gray. He's like, hey, Purple's dying. And I don't think Purple's necessarily dying to this, but I think Purple is dying as a whole because of Gray's contributions. And because of the lack of space. And it's just, in general, overwhelmed. And, oh boy, now we have the hand cannons. So it was almost like it was part of the plan. Now, what if you had hand cannons and rebs? That would have been smarter. I toke my relics. You're not enemy to gray and coming with siege. Okay, I think Valley's trying to say, bro, you stole my relics. You're not fighting gray. And Purple says, and after all this, I was granting you the win. So yeah, maybe playing the, uh, maybe trying to, to play into the sympathy card here. Trying to get Red to feel bad. But I'll tell you what. These hand cannons are going to wreck. These things have nine range, guys. Nine range hand cannons. After hand cannons themselves have received a series of like three or four buffs over the last year. The Hindustani's got that, so... Very strong. Red says, not even kidding, I was going after green. That might be true. These fire towers are pretty crazy. That might be true. I forget who turned first. I'm trying to page up, but it won't tell me. Gray still controlling the shoreline. Obviously, purple's focus is going to be on land. And purple has a lot of these Teutonic Knights. And stockpiles for purple... Still really strong. Now, if Valley had Siege Onager, or even just Onager, some form of Siege, the hand cannons wouldn't look too good. <laughs> what is this AoE for? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? What's happening right now? Gray just turned on red? Red just turned on gray? What? Everyone's against each other right now? What's happening, guys? What's happening? And then there's green, lonely old green trying to get to the corner. I'm very confused. Did I miss chat? Hold on, what? Red and purple are allied again? I must have missed some chat. I must have missed some chat. I think they're friends again. I think red felt bad. And gray literally just let out with a what the... And so here come the Teutonic Knights, here come the hand cannons, and this is not at all what I expected. Now, I mentioned it before with Gray. And this hurts Gray massively because Gray's got so much on water that can't, that can't help him right now. But you've got to have cataphracts. 
Especially, you can only have so many units, right? You want to have your strongest units. And if you have champion, champion's not going to cut it here. you got to have your best unit. Yeah, 40 population on water. Let's say you're going to get something like 40, 50 population on land. Ideally, it's more. Make sure that population counts as much as possible. Champion is population efficient. And I would say like resource efficient. But the elite cataphract with this many castles would be the answer here. Purple said to red, turn on gray after red says I was really going for green. Yeah, but I didn't see any confirmation they would do that. And now gray doesn't know what to do. And gray says, hey, they teamed up on me. Can you help? And this is to green. And I would say tough luck. Honestly, I would say, as I like to say, tough noogies. Which I still don't know what a noogie is. Well, now I do know what a noogie is. But I don't know why that's a saying. Because it still doesn't really make any sense based on what I know of noogies. But I'd say you didn't help me. Like, where was the help when I was dying earlier? Where were, where was the, even the vocal support on your side to keep me alive? There was none. So if I were green, I would just let the top dogs fight against each other. And I would try and get to this corner because we all want to see what happens in this corner. That's the main reason. I don't care about really winning or anything. I just want to see what happens here. Red feels bad. Red says, sorry for destroying your castles earlier. Need res. And purple says, no, I won't rebuild. Anyways, guys, Gray's going to die pretty quickly at this rate. Gray um, is at 39 eco. Is currently at 39. That's okay. Same stat. 87 military. But a lot of that is on water. I think Gray was just kind of overwhelmed by this. Didn't know what to do. And the Teutonic Knights, the Elephants, the Hand Cannons are making their way through Gray's base pretty quickly. And his king is obviously in one of these castles. Come on, Green. You can do it. Let's go. Oh, yeah. That's easy, too. You take out the trees, no problem. Come on. Gray says, please help. This is your chance. And I think he's talking to Green right now. But I think, Gray, you'd have better chances at asking Red to turn back than anything. Red really playing both sides of it here. I, I wasn't surprised by that. I was very confused by Red earlier with Yellow. And then he fought alongside Gray and against Purple. And now he's fighting alongside Purple. I guess what Red has done is he's kind of made himself needed here. Because we never thought that purple and gray would ally. But the fact that there was a chance for red has really made him sought after here. Okay, purple says I'll snipe green. No, don't do it yet. We need green to get to the corner. Green, get to the corner for us, man. Yeah, there you go. Keep going. Quick. <laughs> I will be unsatisfied if we don't see what he gets from that corner. I don't think it's going to be anything that necessarily gives green a chance to win, but we'll be cool. Okay, making progress, making progress. And what we don't want is any gold here or anything you can't honor your cut. Okay, emptiness is perfect. No, man. Oh, purple killed the king. Green is dead. Ruined, man. Ruined. When he said it, I didn't think it would happen so easily. He just walked in there and killed it, and I don't think Green even knew that Green was allied. And Purple says, sorry, Green, nothing personal. The sad times. All right. Red, you know that they will write songs about us. <laughs> you can't try this twice. <laughs> this is what Valley had said before a couple weeks back. He will write songs about his brother. He's like, I know they will. Rip. rip -roni. I think this now comes down to who wins between red and purple. Who both have played very well. Um, Gray is on his last leg here. Um, I don't know if the elephants are necessarily OP. These elephants are OP when someone doesn't have melee units. But it's the same with siege rams, right? Here we go. 
Also, mods, I'm pretty sure that is a bot. It's either a bot or someone's promoting random crap. And regardless, we can get rid of that. Thank you, mods. <laughs> it's the first bot we've seen in a couple months. It's actually nice to have them back every once in a while, you know? We got those ones on Twitch that are like, want to become famous? Buy followers and subs and blah, blah, blah. At this website, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Thank you, mods. Um, Gray is asking purple for help. But let's get a king update. Okay, red's king is here. And then purple's king is here. I think it's easier for purple to kill red right now simply because purple has to pass through red as is to get to where they're attacking. But uh, gray is being attacked by chariots. And gray is going to die here. Thanks for teaming with me, plurp. It's been really fun, Valley. And Purple says, you were the one that offered the alliance. Wow, these guys are nice. These guys are nice. They like each other. It's a, it's a nice alliance. It worked out well for both of them. It did not work out well for the others, obviously. But that's how it goes in war. Where do you want the kill, says Purple. Oh, Purple's going to give it up, too. I think Purple hasn't really tried to fortify the base at all. Haven't tried to rebuild for this reason. And I think they might both go to the middle here. I think what they should do is they should make a box and they should do a 1v1 battle between one Teutonic Knight and one hand cannon. But they make the box really tiny so it's hard to micro the hand cannons. Okay, Red says, I'll get my holy men to make it peaceful. Which probably means monks. And... <laughs> oh, be careful here. <laughs> Alright. Are they going to get married? Why is there? Why is there a monk here? I've never had a monk be here. I mean, I guess, like, holy men show up for funerals as well, but I don't know about suicide packs. Bring your daughter wedding happening. <laughs> and then he just gets shot up. He's like, screw that. A wedding? <laughs> that's funny. Okay, well, GG. Um, that's what I was thinking. Good to know purple's on the same wavelength as me. When I saw the monk, I was thinking wedding. Um, congratulations to Red, who played really well. And uh, purple... Had a really solid start in this game, and I think both players got as far as they did because of each other, which doesn't happen a lot in Diplo games. They have a lot of respect for each other. Now, Lord Carl is not going to like purple. Citrode is not going to like purple. Gray is not going to like red. Green is not going to like either of them. Yellow, everyone that was in that game besides these two has a bone to pick with both of these players or at least one of them. But again, that's War, that's Diplo. We had two players make it to the very end. I think Purple had a lot of respect for Red for, uh, for turning back uh, onto his side. And it was an interesting game. Um, at the conclusion, we had 1,685 little outposts remaining. It always looks really cool when you click them. And then you had 98 on top of that of the uh, normal outposts. And... I, I said before with this outpost nothing thing, it's it's a unique concept. I don't want to do it all the time. Maybe once a month. I might also get tired of it tomorrow. I, I don't know, but I wasn't sure what to expect. Shout out to Citrode or Hollow who's in chat. Uh, thanks for making this stuff. 19 different maps and they're all different. And I think this game played out very differently because of the trade. And because of the fact that you could actually snipe someone early, right? In the previous versions, you had your own little bubble, and you couldn't really break out and access people. So if anything, this was better. It allowed for more possibilities. It allowed for some Diplo. It allowed for some Snipes. I don't know what the other ones are going to be exactly. Could we maybe get a tease, Hollow? Could I have like two or three teases of what some of the other ones are? I think it's randomized, but I wouldn't mind spoiling that for myself and others just so we have an idea. Um... Okay, here's the KD for you. Uh, Gray, 768 kills. Imagine what that would have been with a few cataphracts out there. Red actually ended up raising the most. It seems like the siege elephants were the most effective in the long term at taking out the outposts. In terms of resources brought in, Red also brought in more wood and more gold, way more than anyone else, actually. Uh, it's interesting, though. It didn't have that many kills compared to you know, some of the other players, but obviously was, uh, was kind of playing both sides there for a little bit. They're not randomized. They're handcrafted. Yeah, no, I get that. But I mean, 
when you go to play it, right, I'm not selecting which one I want. I'm selecting, like, the map, and it randomizes which one we get, right? There's a version, a version with nuke saboteurs? What? Well, we did want to do Exploding Kings because I wanted to see what would happen when explosions would happen. But, but having nukes, that would be rather dangerous. <laughs> that would be very dangerous, actually. <laughs> I mean, I'm down, eventually. Yeah, Shulker, I guess if there's scenarios, you might have to select them, right? Instead of, it's not like a random map script where you could do like a mega random thing. But yeah, okay. I, I like this one personally. I thought this one was pretty cool. I'll just check a couple other things here. Um, couple couple stats. Even if I don't talk about them, you guys might want to look at them on your own time. Exploration from Red was pretty incredible. You made a lot of progress there. Trade profit, KD. I think we covered most things. Who was the fastest? Red, apparently. He was the fastest to betray his allies, too. <laughs> He was the fastest with everything. I'm not sure what happened here. These spikes are always funny. Maybe clicked a bunch of elephants or something, but uh, it still was a very good game. 